It's two problems. <laughs> it's two problems. It's two problems with this, bro. The first problem is it ain't even a problem. Yeah, it's all all this shit problems. Let me tell you what the issue is, cause like this the thing. Transsexual people feel like everybody in the world hate them. It's not that people hate y'all. It's not that. I think the real issue is that y'all expect for people to lie with y'all. Like, if y'all ass is a boy, you is a boy. If y'all ass is a girl, you is a girl. We don't give a fuck about y'all trying to change nothing. That's the part y'all don't get. Just because y'all delusional as fuck don't mean we finna partake in being fucking stupid along with y'all. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm sorry, but... Understand this. This is what women need to understand. I, I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all real quick. This is what y'all need to understand. They really attacking y'all. That's the, that's the real thing. They really attacking y'all. They really are trying to eliminate everybody on every type of scale. They trying to change. They don't even want to call women women no more. They trying to call them baby carriers or some shit like that. I swear to God, I seen some shit that said that, bro. They trying to take the word woman away. They trying to make it to where women don't even get a title as women no more. Y'all could be called baby carriers or some shit like that. I am not making this shit up, bro. Y'all better be aware of the fact that the more women try to eliminate men, y'all the ones getting fucking eliminated. It's crazy. And I'm going to honestly say this too. The reason why it's so easy and honestly becoming very successful is this. Because niggas is attracted to fake bitches. And you fake bitches is continuously just being fake bitches. I mean, when is y'all not go get it? Like... We all need each other, bro. At the end of the day, if y'all get rid of every man on the fucking planet, y'all ain't gonna be able to, like, have nothing else after that. Y'all need us to put seeds in y'all. We need y'all to grow seeds for us. As in, both of us, bitch. Like, that's the whole point of man supposed to be with a woman. You stupid motherfuckers. Like I said before, we not really mad at transsexuals or gay people because we all know something happened to y'all. And like I say, when I say we feel sorry for y'all, like, it's like, damn, like, sorry that that happened to you for real. Like, I'm not even a kid. And I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I'm sorry nobody believed you. You feel me? But, you know, you ain't got to completely lose who you is. In a sense, go find who you is. Because some of y'all don't even know who y'all is for real. Because y'all got fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And that shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just tired of seeing everybody lying to themselves. That shit crazy. One thing I'm not finna do is lie to myself. Like, just like uh, certain people is not finna let no transsexual call themselves no fucking... Dude, if they know they a chick, or a chick if they know they a fucking dude. Like, cut that shit out, bro. Stop that motherfucking lying shit. For real. I don't know how woke y'all is. Y'all, I think, I think it's to the point where I understand why a lot of people ain't woke. I know why y'all ain't woke. Because being woke, that shit, that shit is a struggle being woke, bro. Being woke is very tiring. Being woke is very, very like draining as fuck, bro. It's easier to be sleep. I see why motherfuckers be sleep now. I really do. I really, really, really do. But if you can, if you can, like disconnect with some of this shit that's out here on this earth, it'll be easier to stay woke. And I'm gonna be honest with you. You got to stay away from the food. You got to stay away from the fucking entertainment. You gonna have to, cause that's gonna be the shit that be the fucking turmoil for your ass. For instance, I got a motherfucking headache out of this world right now. I ate a burger earlier though. Go figure.
Hopefully y'all getting what I'm saying, man. Y'all probably ain't, cause y'all rather believe the shit that's gonna keep y'all asleep than the shit that's gonna wake you the fuck up. But I understand, like I keep telling y'all, I understand. And I learned something today from the pastor, cause I didn't get to go to church this morning. But I watched church at home, and I, and I was crying. And it's crazy, cause I was crying. And I couldn't stop crying. basically saying that you know don't I can't work I can't I felt like he was talking directly to me I was like I said I wasn't at church I was at home watching church but he was just saying like we gotta live we gotta believe and live live and believe believe and live because at the end of the day every day you waking up dog no matter what you feel about how other people feel you know God wanted you to wake up today so you gotta keep going you gotta keep fighting you gotta keep working and then I'm gonna put it to you like this, man. To any any, any people that ain't really non-believers, at the end of the day, man, I feel like anything you talk about, it exists. Or it existed at some point. Because, you know, it's been an argument whether God real or fake forever. So the fact that that's been a, a question anyways is just proof. Like, some, come on. <laughs> he ain't finna argue about nothing that ain't nothing worth arguing about. So at the end of the day, that's what I believe. You feel me? So y'all gotta just, you know, seek answers and learn stuff. You know what I'm saying? Read between the lines. You feel me? Hell, you ain't even gotta read. Some of the stuff that, that's in the Bible, bro, y'all already know that stuff. Most of y'all already know. You don't even know you know it. That'd be the crazy junk.